from the east holding the seal of the living god he cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our god i heard the number of those who have had been marked with the seal 144,000 marked from every tribe of Israelites. After this, I had a vision of great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, 
wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God who is seated on the throne. And from the Lamb, all angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They po prostrated themselves and before the throne, worshiped God and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power and might. Be to our God forever and ever, amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, who are these white robes and where did they come from? I said to him, my Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, these are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Juan. Queridos hijos, miren cuánto amor nos ha tenido el Padre, pues no solo nos llamamos hijos de Dios, sino que lo somos. Si el mundo no nos reconoce, es porque tampoco lo ha reconocido a Él. Hermanos míos, ahora somos hijos de Dios, pero aún no se ha manifestado como seremos al fin. Y ya sabemos que cuando Él se manifieste, vamos a ser semejantes a Él, porque lo veremos tal cual es. Todo el que tenga puesta en Dios está esperanza. Se purifica a sí mismo para ser tan puro como Él. Palabra de Dios. Vamos, Señor.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger, and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil falsely against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Well, today we celebrate All Saints Day, All Hallows Day, that word hallow that we have in Halloween and in the Lord's Prayer, hallowed be that, it means holy. And so today we celebrate all the holy ones, all the hallows, and the, the great cloud of witnesses that the Bible talks about, the, 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 our first reading said it's that, the, this, this army of people that none can number. And the beauty of the communion of the saints, that they're all different. There's over 10,000 canonized saints, and not a one of them is like the other one. Uh, But they all have one thing in common. Some were priests, you know, some were nuns, some were doctors, some were nurses, some were kids, some were youth. But they all had one thing in common. They were on fire for God. And they gave their whole life to God. They made a decision because they loved Jesus so much that they would do anything, 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 and everything that he would ever ask of them. And that is the cloud of witnesses that we have in our church. We call them the saints. Today I was, um, there was a a gathering at the Knights of Columbus building uh, where we had uh, the joy of watching the beatification of Father Michael McGivney and the founder of the Knights of Columbus. And I was quite touched because Cardinal Tobin, who is the, pre, the bishop that ordained me, was the one who was presiding at that beautiful ritual. Of course, you remember that I, I, was, that I talked a couple weeks ago about Blessed Carlo Acutis, and all of these posters along the side, I've only got half of them up, but all of these posters are the Eucharistic miracles that he made and have since been translated into English and in Spanish. So for every miracle of the Eucharist that this 15-year-old, he died when he was 15, he started this project when he was 12, creating these posters of Eucharistic miracles that have taken place around the world. And you saw, as you, if you walked in those stairs over there, you saw all of the pictures of Blessed Carlo, and these are the posters that he worked so hard to create and chronicled and documented on his website which still exists. It's just a beautiful thing, right? Like there's these saints that gave their whole life for God and we're going to invite them forward in a quick moment, those who have dressed up as a saint tonight. But I happen to be reading this today and it said something that made me very uh, moved that I never knew. Photismus. Photismus is a word that they used in the ancient church for baptism. Photismus. Uh, Justin Martyr used this word to describe baptism. And it has the same root as photosynthesis, such that it might be said that the saints are those who heeded the command in our second reading today 
to come to the light. And the, you know, you think about photosynthesis that makes the air that we breathe, that bestows life, and, and it, oh, the plants grow to the light. And maybe that's us, right? Like maybe we're all supposed to be these saints who grow to the light, and the light is Jesus Christ. And we grow to him, and then when we do that, we produce life. We produce air that other people can breathe, and we produce an atmosphere that is second to none. And uh, it's an a a holy atmosphere here on earth. Let's invite the kids forward. If you are dressed like a saint, would you please come forward? I want to try to guess who you are. Um, we have a few with us tonight. We had a whole, of course, the kids at school mass yesterday were dressed up. Come right up here, James, you lead the way. And um, we'll take a look and see if we can figure out who's who. Um, but the cool thing is, what I told the kids yesterday at school mass, when they were all dressed as saints, is that all of this, like, we don't need another Mother Teresa. We need a Saint Michael Kuchar. We need a Saint Gay McKinney, a Saint Billy Cross. We need a Saint, a Saint Luann Mason and a Saint Rosie Grove. And like, that's what we need is to be who we authentically were created to be. And that is why God put us. He knew when to put us onto the planet and to get, um, and he wants to use each one of us to transform the world, to bring heaven to the world and the world Thank you. 
For the church, the communion of saints, that we may grow in holiness as we grow in faithfulness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, that they may choose to be peacemaker, recognizing the image of God, even in their enemies, and encouraging the people they lead to do the same. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are hunger and thirst for righteousness, that they may sustain the battle for justice and goodness, and not lose heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who mourn, that they may find comfort in the Lord and through the support and compassion of family, friends, and our parish community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are trying to discern God's call, especially those from St. Joseph and St. Vincent parishes, that they may be blessed with St. With wisdom and courage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that with God's grace, we may continually pursue the ideals expressed in the Beatitudes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Teresa Marshall, who we remember at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty, good and gracious God, we place these and all our prayers before you. Help us always to do your will and to become saints. We make this prayer in confidence for you to the name of our Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so may we experience, may we experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Amy, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, 
He took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. Te pedimos humildemente, Dios Todopoderoso, que esta ofrenda sea llevada a tu presencia, hasta el alto del cielo, de, por manos de tu ángel, para que cuantos recibimos el cuerpo y la sangre de tu Hijo, a participar aquí en este alto, seamos formados de gracia y perdición. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen the Thias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify, you bless them, sanctify them, fill them with life, and bestow them upon us. For Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven.
and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. La paz, the peace of the Lord, be with you always.
gives us food and wine may we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity.
Please stay